Hello everyone, this is Linda here, and today guys, I have a collective crafting haul to share with you guys. Um, the first thing I want to share is some things that I found from uh, the Dollar Tree. So I know the school supplies are coming out, and Dollar Tree last year had those little containers, guys, that look like these. I was only able to get three of those last year and then I never saw them again. <laughs> so what I did, I went online and I ordered me a case. Now you'd only have you only have to order um, there's 12 in a case. So plus you know of course you have the shipping but um, I ordered those and this is what they sent me. They sent me um, the green which I had three green and the pink and then the orange one and then the blue one. Um, online they are advertising the blue, the pink, the yellow one or yellow green I guess and the clear. So but I got these um, in my box so I there's nothing you click to determine like what color you want but at least I got them I don't know if shipping is different in different parts of the country but I can tell you my shipping was 1130 so I paid like $24 for 12 which roughly doubles the price but I was okay with that because I got myself a dozen and I do not have to go out now and search for these containers before they're gone. So I was so happy to get those. So I just wanted to share that with you there. Okay, so the rest of the things I've got, I did get in the store. All right, so I was in the, um, my local store and I found the Crayola Pearl crayons, the neons, and the glitter crayons. So, and there's only eight in here. Um, I don't know if these are actually a, a new product. I'm, I really don't know if I've ever seen these before. Of course, I'm not a, a lot of times looking for Crayola since my kids are, you know, adults now. So, um, but I saw these and I wanted to give them a try. You know, you never know when you can might use them in a journal or something like that. So I found those. I did pick me up one of the scribble pads um, because it's like a manila paper. And I'm going to um, be dyeing this. So I thought it would turn out pretty good since it's already looks like it's an off-white color. So I'll try that. Okay, and then let's see what else I get to Dollar Tree. Oh, I did find some new stickers. So let me get those. Okay, I found now these I, I think I have this one um and I really liked it, but I wasn't sure, so I did pick me up this one here. Okay. Um now this is a new one. I have not seen this one there before with all the little words on it. Uh, I thought it was really cute. So I got me that. And let's see what else. Let me move this stuff over here. I did get uh, the Alphas. Uh, I thought they was really cute. Very colorful. Very artsy. You just get one sheet in here. Um, and it's not telling me how many stickers you get. But I thought that it was really colorful, really pretty. And then they did have um, the iridescent in the green. And in a certain way the light hits it, they look yellow or blue-green. So I thought that was really, really neat. You get 72 pieces in this set. And then here is the gold. Really pretty. Really shiny. Sorry for the glare of the lights. Okay, and then um, I found these. These are really darling. I bought these. These are puffy. Um, I got them for the mermaids and the shells. I thought these were adorable also. Really cute. 
35 pieces in that one. And I, I bought me a second one also. For that. And then I thought this was gorgeous. This is one of the wall decors where um, you can put them on the wall and reuse them. So they're reusable. And I thought these was adorable. Really pretty. These will look lovely in a journal. Okay. And let's see what else. Oh, I did pick me up another butterfly. My butterfly broke. <laughs> the wings fell off. So, um... And it's got one of the clips on the back, so I picked me up another one of those. All right, so let me see what else I've got here. I got, um, oh, I did get me some of these bags for, um, just for storage to put things in. Or, um, I did use some for my art camp this week, and it is over now, and they had, uh, they wore me out. <laughs> they were here two hours. Every day from 10 till um, noon, and we did uh, some wood crafts, we did painting, we did jewelry making, we did pastel work. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired from the week. Okay, so the next is, oh, I did pick me up one of these uh, blending sponge. My daughters tell me you need to use a blending sponge, Mom, when you put your makeup on. So I'll give that a whirl. <laughs> See how that goes. Okay, and I'm not sure if I showed this before. Okay, I think that is all the Dollar Tree that I had. But I don't know if I showed this before. My daughter picked me this up, and I don't remember sh showing it to you. But if I did, I'm sorry. But it is a journal with, um, it's Bob Ross themed with his paintings throughout. Pictures of Bob in everyday life. It's just a really nice little journal, and I thought it was adorable, and I, I'm i really grateful that she bought it for me. I, I was really surprised, and I think this came, I want to say, oh my goodness, I can't remember, BAM Books, maybe? I cannot remember. I've had it a while, and I just kept forgetting the show, and sometimes I feel like my videos run into each other because I can't remember if I showed something if I don't put it away right away <laughs> and I apologize if you see something twice oh my gosh okay so um, the next item I want to share is that um, Dollar General um, that I was my daughter was there and she found the, the cutest little napkins um, and I, I took a few because I had used these for um, my kids for snack day yesterday. We had snack at the end of the um, camp. And I took a few to show you guys. And then I went back this morning and got me an, a, a big pack. But aren't they cute? They are so, so cute. And this is what's on the back side. It's just the shells. But I thought, oh my gosh, how adorable to decoupage. So I got me um, a pack of those just this morning. Okay, so that is that. And then I have a couple things I want to show you from uh, Joann's. So I was in Joann's and um, they had the Hildy and Joe jewelry the, um, half off. And I found this adorable, adorable pendant and I just fell in love with it. So I've got to figure, you know, what am I going to use to um, make a necklace from it. Or it can be tied with a ribbon and dangled from something. But my gosh, I fell in love with it. I thought it was so, so pretty. So I picked that up. And I also found these um, beads in there by Hilde and Joe. And they're 18 milliliter. And they have a hole in them so you can string it through something or um, sew it to something. So I thought that was really cute. Got those. And then also they had the Park Lane um, chipboard for, um, I think it was really, it was on sales. These were on like a dollar or something. So I picked me up this one. And then I picked me up that one. So here's those. Okay. And why I keep this here, guys, so I know I'm in view <laughs> for you guys. So I'm not out of view. So if I know I'm holding it above this, you guys are seeing it. So, um, at Walmart, 
and I can't, like I say again, I can't remember if I showed you these. <laughs> oh my gosh, because they were laying to the side. Walmart had some material, and I picked up this tie dye. And they had this was like not even where the material is. This was like in the back, um, like the back wall of the store, right close to the crafts. Um, but they were rolled up in a box so I thought what is this so I picked it up and I thought it was so so pretty so I found that one and you get how much do you get on these you get they're 18 by 21 inch so that is that one they're really pretty and then the other one I want to show you and these were like a dollar I think a dollar forty nine but I thought this was really really pretty and it's very springy summery and this is what was on there and it's very tropical I love it so look at that isn't it adorable oh I, I think it's so so pretty this would look so good on the front of a journal and I have a book that I want to use this on and I think it's gonna work so I'm anxious to try that. So there's that one. Okay. And then I have a couple of, well, three items I want to show you that I got off of Amazon. Okay, so I'm looking on Amazon and I always look for um, vintage papers, or vintage journaling um, items. So let me move this other stuff out of the way and show you what I found. Okay. So, um, I found this buyer, buyer, I'm the buyer, <laughs> I found this seller who had these really cute journaling um, papers. So, I don't know if you can see these, but this is what they look like. You can see that. And here is what is on these. They look really vintagey, really pretty. They're all different. Um, I think you get three or four of each. But you get, oh look at that. You get this pack. And then you get, you get, you get a lot. You really get a lot. See how thick they are? Then there's this one. This is like the um, mail with the stamps mailing. There's all of that. Really, really pretty. Really nice vintage journaling papers. So there's those two. And then the others that I got. This was all for, I think this was like $11, $11.43, something like that. Then you get these paper samples of just floral. Okay, you get these little small ones. And then you get the little bigger size and they're just all different papers that's what they feel like they're just papers really pretty I mean just really really pretty and it's um it's called cottage garden okay so there's that and then I have like three more packs to show you that I got you really get a lot of paper I thought it said 300 sheets of paper but I to me I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger but that's fine, you know, it, it is what it is. I should have read the um, description just a little bit more. <laughs> but uh, here's the others. Now, there's just like the neutral colors. I hear myself still lisping a little bit, guys. I still can't wear my bottom teeth. I but wear them a little while, then i got to take them out. Um, but they need to be relined. They're just, the lining's too thick, and my teeth sit up too high. So I'm only, I have to leave them out. Um, and I haven't been wearing them. So anyway, here's another pack. This was all together in the same order, same seller. And when you order these, you get all of these that I'm showing you. Okay. Some of this is sticking to my, all right, so this one, some of these are written on. There's just like, look at this. This is so cute. This old-fashioned 
Oh my gosh, how darling. So, so cute. There's that one there. Oh, I, I love these. These are so, so pretty. And they're all different. And I, and what a, a, a variety. I just love it. Um, and then the next one is, this is the last pack. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six packs of different paper to use in your in your journaling or your art journaling, wherever you'd like to put those. And this is the other, the last one. And whoops, and they are more of a neutral. There's just a little bit of designs on these papers here. Okay. And you can see how big they are. The bigger papers are like that. Smaller ones. There's some smaller, like, um, just a little bit smaller than the ones I just showed. And then these look like two inch by two inch squares. But very nice papers. I mean, they are very nicely made. They don't feel cheap or anything. So I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised and I am pleased with my um, purchase anyway. So. But okay, I'm not going to spend the time putting them back. I'll do that afterwards. So there's something else I want to show you. I picked up, uh, well, I saw these. These are by Zebra, or Zebra. Some people say Zebra. I say Zebra. It's spelt like Zebra, so that's what I'm going to say. These are Zensations. These are colored pencils. And the, I, what I like about these um, colored pencils are... Oh, pull them out so you can see what they look like. Okay. You get 24 in this pack. Alright. They have the triangular um, shape so they won't roll. And they are the click down. You click down on it. And there is your pencil. So, I thought that was really neat. I, I don't know if these are refillable. I'm doubting it. I think once they're gone, they're gone. But I don't go through colored pencils very fast anyway. But I wanted to give these a try. And I wanted to share them with you guys. So, I will link all these below. What I can find um, in the description. And the lastly thing I wanted to share was I found the 50 big set of the twistable crayons. So I am just in love with these crayons, guys. I really love, and you get a lot of colors in here. I don't think you can see they're starting to fall over. Um, but I am going to pull one out. And I had did this in the other video, but... I think these are the most beautiful colors. So these are the same way. You twist these. They're very small. Really good for coloring in the adult coloring books. But I bought these to use in journals and to just sketch with and to fill in um, color where I want color. But these are adorable colors. Very, very, very pretty. Um, so I had the 50 set. I have the 30 set now. I'm sure I have duplicates, but hey, that's okay. You can always use extra. So, I think that is all what I wanted to share with you guys today. I am waiting on an order from Jerry's, or, or not Jerry's, um, Dick Blick. Um, when it gets here, I will make a video and show you guys. I wanted to thank you for tuning in. This video is really long now. I didn't want it to be 19 minutes long, um, but... I don't like to talk too fast with uh, my new teeth. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you all to the new subscribers. And um, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to click the little bell. You don't want to miss anything. And until next time, guys, I will see you soon. You guys have a great weekend. Until then, bye-bye.